Hey guys, welcome to All Clear Tube. Now we are going to see how to compute the 8 point DFT using the DIT FFT algorithm. This is the most frequently asked question in, uh, in DSP. Um, so the question will be given like this find the 8 point DFT of x of n equal to uh, a sequence of numbers using a radix 2 DIT FFT algorithm. Uh, DIT stands for decimation in time and FFT stands for fast Fourier transform. Now write the given sequence separately uh, and number them as shown 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Now pair uh, two numbers. Uh, from 0 you have to leave three spaces and go, go to the uh, next number after th uh, three spaces. So 1, 2 and 3. 0 to 4. Connect 0 and 4. Uh, same uh, as we did, as, did to 0, uh, the same condition should be applied to 1. Uh, leave 3 spaces. So 2, 3, 4 and connect 1 to 5. So do like that for all the numbers and write the uh, connected numbers separately. So we get 0, 4, 1, 5, 2, 6 and 3, 7. Now uh, take the even pairs first and write them separately. So the first even pair is 0 and 4 and the next even pair is 2 and 6 and now the odd pair uh, the odd pair uh, is 1 comma 5 and next odd pair the left out odd pair is 3 comma 7 so we get uh, the, so we get this uh, order now draw 8 parallel lines with uh, equal amount of space between them and write the numbers in the order we have uh, got before so we get 0, 4, 2, 6, 1, 5, 3 and then 7. Ok. Now consider 3 columns. So in the first column uh, keep 2 dots. And uh, in each line you have to keep 2 dots. And as I told you to consider it as 3 columns, leave space between uh, each pair of dots. Now in the first column you have to uh, connect the uh, first line to the next line so first line to the next line here also first line to the next line and in the second column you are connecting first line across to the uh, across leaving one line same here um, leaving one line across to the uh, next line uh, then starting from here uh, leaving one line across to the next line uh, starting from here leaving one line across to the next line the same will be applied here and in the third column um, you have to leave three lines so uh, for this point uh, one two and then three so you have left three lines and connect to the fourth dot and taking the second dot leave three lines one two and three and connect to the next dot the same applies to all the dots uh, now in the first column you have to put minus 1 in each of the base of the x you see uh, so minus 1, minus 1 and minus 1 in the second column you have to put uh, minus 1 in the third and the fourth line and the uh, this, uh, seventh and the eighth line in the th uh, third column you will put minus 1 in the last four lines now write the values of uh, w8 of 0, w8 of 2 as shown here, here and um, in the last four lines between the second and third row and from between the first and second row in the last two lines. Now you have to remember four values that is w8 of 0 equal to 1, w8 of 1 equal to 1 by root 2 minus j by root 2 and w8 of 2 equal to minus j and w8 of 3 equal to minus 1 by root 2 minus j by root 2. Now write w8 of 0 value and w8 of 2 value in the last two lines of between the first and second column. Same here between the first and second column last two lines you write w8 value and w8 of 0's value and w8 of 2's value. Okay now we have to pass the values. So the value of x of 0 
as given in the question is uh, x of 0 equal to 1 so x of 0 equal to 1 and then x, x of 4 equal to 1 x of 4 equal to 1 then x of 2 equal to 1 and all the values are 1 except x of 7 that is 0 so 1 1 1 1 and x of 7 equal to 0 now we have to find the value of this point uh, and now our objective is to find the value of this uh, this point this point this point this point this point this point and this point so uh, for finding the value of this point add a, add the values of so it goes like this 1 and then 1 so uh, the value here is 1 so 1 plus 1 is 2 similarly for finding the value of this dot this 1 get multiplied by this 1 so this 1 becomes minus 1 so minus 1 plus 1 equal to 0 the same way the value here is 1 and the value here is 1 so for finding the value of this dot go like this 1 plus 1 so 2 to find the value of this dot 1 into minus 1 so minus uh, minus 1 plus 1 that is 0 same here for this dot 1 and then 1 it goes like this 1 plus 1 2 so when we have value here we have to multiply with this so minus 1 plus 1 so 0 so here we have 1 and 0 to find the value of this dot 1 plus 0 that is 1 then to find the value of this dot we have to go like this and like this so 0 into minus 1 is 0 plus 1 that is 1 now we have to transfer now we have to pass the values which we have got to the second column so the value we got here is 2 the same value we will we'll get in this dot so 2 and then 0 mm. when a, a weight is given or w8 of 0 some value is given we have to multiply the um, value which we got and then write so 2 into 1 is 2 and 0 into minus j is 0 then you have to transfer the values directly here 2 0 and 1 into 1 is 1 and 1 into minus j is minus j okay now circle the uh, numbers to distinguish from the numbers and to not get confused now you have to uh, find the value of this point so to find the value of this point we go from here uh, so uh, from here to here so 2 plus 2 is 4 uh, same way this line is connecting uh, this point and goes to here so 0 plus 0 is 0 to find the value of this point uh, multiply 2 into minus 1 so 2 uh, it's minus 2 it goes from here to here so minus 2 plus 2 is 0 and uh, same way 0 minus 0 into minus 1 is 0 it goes to is 0 so 0 plus 0 is 0 now to find the value of this point uh, so it goes like this from here to here so 2 plus 1 is 3 as I told circle this then you have to find the points uh, the value of this point so 0 plus minus j gives minus j to find the value of this point you go from here so 1 into minus 1 it gives minus 1 2 so minus 1 plus 2 that is 1 
then uh, minus j into minus 1 is j j plus 0 is j so we now uh, pass the values transfer the values to the third column so 4 0 0 0 3 oh no uh, 3 into 1 is 3 so we have to multiply minus j with with 1 by root 2 minus j by root 2 so we get minus j into 1 by root 2 minus j by root 2 1 into minus j that is minus j and uh, j into minus 1 by root 2 minus j by root 2 so j into minus 1 by root 2 minus j by root 2 so now we have to find the value of this point so it goes like this 4 4 plus so 4 then plus 3 gives 7 0 plus 0 plus minus uh, j into 1 by root 2 minus j by root 2 so you have to add 0 plus uh, minus j into 1 by root 2 minus j by root 2 so we get now after adding we get uh, 0 minus 0 point 707 minus j 0 point 707 after simplifying we get the value now to find the value of this dot 0 plus minus j so we get minus j and to find the value of this dot 0 plus uh, j into minus 1 by root 2 0 plus j into minus 1 by root 2 minus j by root 2 so after simplifying we get 0 0.707 minus j 0 0.707 now to find the value of this dot so 3 into minus 1 minus 3 plus 4 minus 3 plus so minus 3 plus 4 gives 1 and uh, here to get the value of this dot the value here is minus j into 1 by root 2 minus j by root 2 plus this line goes here plus uh, 0 so we get this same value but after simplification we get 0 0.707 plus j 0 0.707 to find the value of this point minus j into minus 1 gives j plus 0 so it is plus j and to find the value of this point j into minus 1 by root 2 minus j by root 2 into minus 1 you have to multiply that into minus 1 plus 0 so the uh, it, we get after simplification minus 0 0.707 plus j 0 0.707 now we have got the final values so uh, we get the values in the order of x of 0 x of 1 x of 2 x of 3 x of 4 x of 5 x of 6 and x of 7 now the final uh, dft we have got uh, is denoted by x of k and from the values obtained we can write x of 0 is 7 so 7 comma minus 0 0.707 minus j 
0.707, comma minus j, comma 0.707, minus j, 0.707, comma 1, 0.707, plus j, 0.707, comma j, comma minus 0.707, plus j, 0.707. So we have computed the final DFT.